Hello, it's Christmas Eve. How exciting. At the beginning of Advent, we sing together, O come, O come, Emmanuel. Sometimes we sing, O come, thou font of every blessing. We're inviting God into our lives. We're inviting God to come and fix the brokenness in our world. In John chapter 1, verse 9, it says, The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming in to the world. At Christmas time, we celebrate that God did come in the person of Jesus, but he didn't come with an army to force us into subjugation. He didn't come in an unapproachable, untouchable holiness. He didn't come as a judge to examine all our faults, but he came in humility and in love as a baby, completely non-threatening, but a symbol of hope. And it came that we might know the peace that transcends all understanding, the love that surpasses knowledge and an inexpressible and glorious joy. At Christmas, we've gone from singing, O come Emmanuel, to O come all you faithful. Now we celebrate that Christ has come, the invitation is now to us to come to the God who first came to us. We've all done stuff that we are ashamed of, stuff that would separate us from God. And this has given rise to lots of weird ideas about God, that somehow he's up there and he just doesn't care or that he's permanently disappointed in us, that he's angry and vindictive, or that he wants nothing to do with us. Christmas blows all of those weird ideas about God out of the water. You can understand if you didn't want anything to do with a vindictive, angry God, or a God who punishes for enjoyment, or a, a God who keeps us at arm's length because we're not worthy. But if Christmas is how God comes to us as a child in poverty and not to condemn but to say, if that is how God comes to you, will you not come to him? Will you come? Yes, would we agree?